I'm sure you've seen lots of geometrical figures. So what I have with me is one such geometrical figure. And yes, you guessed it right. It is a cone. To be precise, this is a right circular cone. Now, if I ask you a question, how much of paper has been used to make this cone? What will be your answer? Right. That will be the curved surface area of this cone. Yeah. Now, the question is, how do we find the curved surface area of the cone? I'm sure you know the formula. But how do we arrive at the formula? Let's inspect this cone further. So let's say it has a slant height of L and it has a base circle of radius, let's say R. So what is the circumference of the base uh, circle? 2 pi R. Now to arrive at a formula, let me cut open this cone. And let's see what our next step is. Once I cut open this cone, you will realize that you will get a figure which is actually a part of another figure. Now once I cut open this cone, I get this. Now this very clearly is the slant height L. And what is this? Yes, this is 2 pi r, right? The circumference of the base circle. Now this segment is a part of a larger circle. We need to find this area. So the question is, what fraction of the area of the bigger circle is this area? A related question is, what fraction of the overall circumference is this arc? Now the length of this segment is 2 pi r. And the circumference of the circle that as you can see is 2 pi L. So this arc is what part of the circumference? That is simple. That is 2 pi R over 2 pi L, which is obviously R by L. Now this is the area that we need to find. It should be the same fraction of the overall area. And what is the overall area? The overall area is pi L squared, right? Because L is the radius of this larger circle. So the area of this segment is pi L squared into R by L, which makes it pi R L. I'm sure that is the formula you already know. So next time you have to find the curved surface area of a cone, I'm sure you will know the derivation as well.